Hi everyone, my name is Yap Sin Yee and I'm from 6 ps 3 Today, I'm going to talk about the biggest challenges to education. With the emergence of the coronavirus in the first half of 2020, the world's education systems have been through a test by fire. Allocation learning went out the window in many countries around the globe. As schools scrambled to deploy various technologies to continue learning, some more successfully than others. The already existing fault lines in education have become a lot more visible with the global pandemic. The antiquated educational models, lack of qualified teachers and stark differences in access to ICT across social classes, problems that educators have been dealing with for years are suddenly out in the open. Of course, not all countries or regions face the challenges equally, but today we are. Nonetheless, looking at some of the biggest challenges to functioning education today. Before going on, we can possibly look around the impact the coronavirus has and on education. At a high point of pandemic, nearly 80% of school age children were out of class. While many countries have attempted to shift learning online as much as possible, many more lack the infrastructure and qualified educators to manage such a change in extremely short time span dictated by the pandemic. Access to computers and sufficient bandwidth remains very unequal across the world. From nearly universal access to online learning in countries like Norway and Denmark to more than two-thirds of students in Indonesia lacking such opportunities. A significant gap across social classes also exists in even more developed countries, leading to fears that the pandemic will exacerbate the digital divide between the haves and have-nots. On top of that, schools are not focusing on the future. Even for the lucky learners who are in school, education still tends to focus on root learnings and knowledge of facts as opposed to preparing children to face a world changing at an ever quickening pace. This over reliance on the learning model that was developed during the Industrial Revolution is not helping students prepare for the evolving meaning of work after they graduate. This particular problem is one of the most commonly cited reasons for the crisis in education. Luckily, there is a growing voice among experts advocating for a shift in what is taught in school. The idea is to move away from a fact-based curriculum to a focus on learning vital skills that will help students face the uncertainties of the quickly changing world. In addition, our outdated education model is also reflected in the near obsession with standardized tests. These supposedly unbiasedly determine a child's abilities but they also diminish complex human down to a single numbers, create a lot of anxiety in both students and teachers, and promote a system of evaluation and motivation that is not productive in the long run. Teaching the test and a focus on knowledge as opposed to skills naturally create a feedback loop between the focus and output of the educational system. To sum up, education in the 21st century is facing many challenges. The reaction to the coronavirus pandemic has demonstrated the wide gap in access to technology becoming increasingly important in today's education, while even developed nations are stuck in a system of teaching from over a hundred years ago and ill-equipped to prepare students for 21st century life. A focus on knowledge and facts has left graduates uncertain in their futures, exacerbating their already precarious mental health. But it is not all bad, of course, there are plenty of opportunities in education to look forward to. That's all from me. Thank you.